What is up, YouTube? This is Mr. MPQ, your source in the Southwest. <coughs> Excuse me. For all things Marvel Puzzle Quest. Coming to you live from Phoenix, Arizona. Today is Thursday. It is September 6, 2018. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thanks for joining us. If you're a regular, welcome back. As always, if you like what you see, every like, share, and subscribe is always appreciated. It does Help us continue to grow the online community here on YouTube for Marvel Puzzle Quest to reach other questers just like yourself. And uh, what we're going to do today is actually take a quick look at the shield training and then we're going to do the Crash of the Titans, which actually was a reset yesterday, but I was not able to get the video out on time. So the shield training just started uh, today and it is the new Dazzler four-star character featured. Uh, so we're just going to do this first quick node, and then we'll get to Crash of the Titans. So you can take a look at Dazzler's abilities if you haven't done this yet. Um, anytime there's a shield event like this, uh, it's always good to see uh, the first node will give you an idea of what that character looks like. So Dazzler is a 4-star. Um, they're giving it to us at level 270 and at a 355 build. So she is uh, black, red, and green. Uh, which is a fairly unique color combination. Uh, I feel like there's not too many other characters with that build out there. Um, so good to see that they are mixing things up a little bit, although I wish it was with a different character. Um, the only other black, red, and green that comes to mind really is going to be uh, Carnage, uh, four-star Carnage, for example. <clears throat> so her black is a passive ability, doesn't cost anything to use. Uh, basically, if Dazzler takes damage of 1263 or more, every uh, for every two friendly strike, protect, or attack tiles up to eight on the board, removes one enemy strike, protect, or attack tile, and then stuns the target for one turn. Uh, so that is for every two friendly on the board, then the, the enemy gets removed one. So if you have four on the board, they get removed two. Um, and it sounds like it would be a two-turn stun with that as well. If this was at level 5, the amount of damage required to trigger would be less. And then it would remove two uh, on each turn. So it does jump up to removing two at level 4. Um, at level 5, it just drops that uh, a damage reduction or damage uh, trigger further. Dance Floor Queen for 10 red AP is going to... Uh, create five strike tiles, strength 126, and for every three additional red AP she has when this power is fired, creates three strike tiles with a lower strength of 97. Uh, but that will help definitely trigger um, this survivor ability by populating the board. Um, it doesn't say what specific color of uh, tiles it will create, so it's random. So this would also pair well with uh, Jessica Jones. Um, will also be great with uh, Green Goblin for fortifying tiles. It could be great with Luke Cage. could be great with um, Shuri um, or Black Panther, 4-star. So there's lots of opportunities where this can be great. Um, I can see her being used with Iron Fist um, with all these um, strike tiles on the board. Uh, Sounds of Light and Fury is a green ability with 7 AP cost. <clears throat> this one is going to deal 11, uh, 1,101 damage to the enemy team, so it's an AoE effect. Um, it can hit invisible enemies, um, plus 368 damage for every friendly special tile, up to a max of 10. So again, this red is very important to have at level 5 to help boost green and black abilities. So she is affiliated with Heroes and X-Men for supports, abilities and uh, events where those are important and that's her cover there so um, I'm very happy that the other required characters um, for this are uh, Hulkbuster and Moon Knight um, mine are at a higher level boosted than what the ones that give you only by a couple levels so I'm also going to just highlight the given characters because they don't take damage um, when you use them. Uh, you can come back, these guys will be refreshed, um, versus if you use your main character, those ones you do have to wait for them to heal or use a health pack. Alright, 
So we're going to do this with just some random team ups. So we're fighting Electra, whoops, um, Moonstone, all level 270, and Black Widow. Um, not a good color spread between them, so I think we'll be good uh, with Moon Knight, <clears throat> Hulkbuster, and, and Dazzler. We should be able to cover the rainbow pretty easily. Um, I think she has the lowest health and she can steal AP, so we're going to knock her out first. With a nice cascade. Yeah, set that up as a match five for them. Whoops. Um, what is Moon Knight's uh, matching black tiles? Okay. Definitely good to know. So I think the point of this team up is actually using Hulkbuster's black. <clears throat> because Dazzlers is a passive black to generate red. <coughs> Excuse me. That red will then fuel Dazzlers red. So for the sake of this fight, I'm going to <clears throat> actually turn on character effects so we can see what those effects look like when we use Dazzlers. I'm going to wait just a smidge longer. Get that last red. Okay, <clears throat> good. So now we have two extra red uh, uses because it's 10 plus 3 plus 3. So we're up to 16. So we're one, one off on that, but we're going to do this. Nice. Now, of course, Moon Knight's uh, passive attack tile here is going to deal extra damage because of all these strike tiles. We're going to do this, keep that alive. So not only are we dealing extra damage, we're, we got special tiles on the board, so we're preventing uh, Moonstone's gravity warp from dealing damage. We're going to have to take out Electra quickly because she has enough ability to use her uh, AP to use her Shadow Step ability. Mm, nine needs uh, three more green. You know what? I'm going to do this instead. Because Dazzler's attack would not have been enough to kill her. So we know there's only so many black tiles on the board that aren't special tiles. These ones at the top just kind of drop down use that one so I think if she has enough yep we basically eliminated all those on the board this one's gonna deal 12,000 damage hmm okay let's do this did that on purpose So this deals uh, 1101 to the enemy team, plus 368 for every friendly special to the max of 10. I think we have at least that much on the board. Uh, so 10, that's an extra 3,000 damage, that's 4,000. So yeah, we're going to use this one. And with all those strike tiles, is enough to take down Electra. And then, all that's left is Moonstone. Mm. 
get another look at that. <clears throat> so she has some decent abilities. Um, I'm not a fan of the character, again, as I said, um, as a whole. Um, being brought before other characters that we have been asking for in the game. Um, that I think would be more useful. But, you know, she does uh, actually have a pretty good uh, ability set. <clears throat> so let's... let's uh, Hopefully I can get her from that shield event. Oh, the other required character it was uh, Moon Knight, Hulkbuster, and Kate Bishop. Perfect. So Kate Bishop's the only one I don't have championed. Um, I do have her up to 200 already. I think with some covers on deck. Nope, no covers yet. But I can definitely get her up at least to 209. That's not a problem. It's only a couple of levels based on where she is. So I should be able to at least complete um, those nodes and get at least one cover of Dazzler. <clears throat> All right. Oh, not shield training. We're going back to Deadpool's Daily Quest. So Deadpool's Daily Quest resets uh, every five-day cycle for Crash of the Titans. The rest of the nodes reset daily, including Behemoth Burrito, which is this hard four-star where you can get two command points daily. So after about two weeks or a little bit less you can actually pull a uh, classic legends or uh, a latest legends legendary token if you do that regularly but this four star uh, node with the uh, Electra symbol on it she's the opponent this time around the rewards include 22,000 taco points as seen in the upper left and in the scene in the bottom right a flashing latest legends recruit token she is the four-star version of Electra, not the uh, three-star version, so important to note some differences in that. Um, we are required to use X-23, whom I have at 190. Um, I have some covers on deck for her, but I don't have enough ISO to champion her at the moment. As you can see, getting her up there would be mm, about 278, or no, 290 ISO I would require. <clears throat> to get her championed so yeah i'm a little bit short but 190 should be more than enough at this level uh she's at a 535 build so holding back is 8 ap cost it's green deals 3898 damage when activated uh, if the team has nine red ap replaces it with berserker fury uh, basically it's the same damage as previous but it also adds two black strike tiles strength 206 um, it only has to trigger to Berserker Fury once. It doesn't have to have 9 red AP for each of those uh, subsequent uses. Savage Healing is a passive. Her red ability uh, gives back 556 health whenever matching green, red, or purple, which fuel her abilities. Tracking Prey is a 12 AP cost. This sets a purple trap tile dealing 974 damage if matched by the enemy or if matched by friendly team. Uh, deals less damage at 6493 and creates a black strike tile of strength 382 costs 1 AP less for every friendly strike tile on the board to a minimum of 6 so you can uh, you know use this multiple times get extra black strike tiles that way you can use uh, someone like Dazzler to create multiple strike tiles uh, on the board uh, you can also use uh, her holding back to create two at a time so She's affiliated with Heroes and X-Men. I don't have any supports on her at the moment. But at level 190, she's got just under 10,000 health. Electra has 13,995, so this could be a pretty tough battle of the Femme Fatales. I may need to boost X-23 um, or use some, some AP boost. Double Double Cross is a dangerous one because takes two random enemy strike or attack tiles, turns them into friendly strike tiles, and improves their strength by 184, but also converts three random purple basic tiles into enemy strike tiles, strength 18. So very minimal uh, added damage, but it is going to fuel uh, her green ability much faster to uh, trigger at a lower AP cost. Shadow Step for 10 black AP, this one's dangerous because it not only negates damage but deals damage back. So it will create four random black tiles into trap tiles, uh, deals 613 damage each time one is destroyed uh, where she would have taken damage. 
and Valley of Death for 8 red AP creates a random red, purple, or black basic tile into a trap tile. If one exists, deals 1 purple and black AP, deals 639 damage at the beginning of every turn. So she is just all kinds of dangerous with AP steal and passive damage and adding damage, uh, adding uh, damage to strike tiles. So we need to really negate her black first and foremost, and then um, try to avoid the other abilities as much as possible. Uh, purple and red, of course, are overlapping with black being different. Uh, green is going to set her apart from X23. So let's try to clean run. Uh, always like to see what we can do with what we're given. Uh, the cards were dealt, and then we'll readjust if we need to. So let's do this. Surprise, she went for the red. Trying to get that passive damage steal, I guess. Did she? What ability did she just use? I didn't see it. Um, okay. I thought it was red, but... Nope. So even though X23 has less health uh, than Electra, because she's able to self-heal, that kind of makes up for it. <clears throat> Alright, so we're ready here to do this. We have at least 9 AP, we're sitting at 11, so that's going to become Berserker Fury for future use in the game, or at least in this match. We don't want her to make any more black matches because she's already sitting at seven. <clears throat> One more would be ten. she went that route. Alright, uh, so we have one strike tile on the board. Uh, no purples that are easily matched away, so I'm going to wait to use this. stole one because that's the only one we had but now deals extra 202 damage hmm what can we do here of course it went to that side are going to negate damage. There's four tiles on the board that are trap tiles. Uh, and all these black tiles are really in a tough spot to match. So we're just going to have to soak up this damage little by little.
trying to get a purple tile to drop over on that side. Oop, she's taking damage. It means we got all those trap tiles out. So... Or did we? Uh, one more test. <clears throat> yep. Perfect. So even though she did this... She disarmed the trap. What? How did she have enough? Oh, she stole. Gosh dang it. Okay, so hopefully get rid of those traps. One, two. Wow. So I should have used my green ability when I had the chance. Because she was open. And I second guessed myself. So unfortunately, we know this is a doable fight. I just was, wasn't paying attention as close as I should have been. So that being said... She's not getting a lot of black this round. Okay. So her double double cross is 7 AP cost. Uh, as long as she doesn't get... If I do that flashing one, it's going to give her a match four opportunity. So I'm actually going to do. This. And then this. tiles <clears throat> all right so we're on a ticking time bomb here slowly gaining health back but also losing it this ability. Gain some health back. Unfortunately it's not per tile matched, it's only when you make a designated match. Hmm. to level her up and get some boosts involved in order to finish this unfortunately <clears throat> That should be enough. 
She's at over 10,000 health now. Increase some damage. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Look at all that. Um, let's do it this way. Yellow is fine, she can have that. Okay. So we're gonna do this. And that is now Berserker Fury. Double green and purple. Please be in, yes. Alright, so just for funsies, we're gonna do this. And then this is a, uh, if I match it, does 6607. If they match it, it is 9912. Uh, she's clearly gonna die either way, so. Bada bing, bada boom. So, third time's the charm. Had to boost a little bit, only 10 levels, it's not bad. But um, I think the board made a big difference just having a, a lucky board that third round. So we're going to go back to the main menu, recruit heroes. And I actually have four latest legends recruit tokens to use uh, from the previous alliance event. Getting my personal and alliance uh, up there to maximum points. And then also getting one from, I think, my uh, VIP renewal. And then one from Crash of the Titans. So we have four to choose uh, from or to draw. One in 20 chance for bonus heroes. These are the four and five stars I've picked. Yours may be different. One in seven chance for five stars that are newest to the game. So the Wasp, Okoye, <clears throat> excuse me, and Loki. Uh, and then four stars. Everybody's available at the same drop rate. <clears throat> so we're starting off strong with a 5 star getting that nice Okoye red beautiful I'll take it Professor X, haven't seen him in a while so he is one of my um, champions so that will be put to good use Iceman, another great 4 star champion to have and Star Lord <clears throat> I think the game wants me to champion Star Lord because I have like 4 spared covers now um, so we'll go to roster here again. Oh, three saved covers. Okay, uh, so we're gonna add a level for Iceman to 278, add a level for Professor X to 279. Next level for him is gonna be uh, another latest legends token. Uh, we'll save Spider Woman, so she may be a champion yet to come. And then Okoye will add a red because whew, we're up to four with that finally. <clears throat> 11 red AP is going to deal now 2292 damage, destroys a chosen row, and 459 for each tile in the enemy's strongest color that's destroyed. Big jump from three to four. And then from four to five again, another pretty big jump, an extra thousand damage, and extra 100 ex uh, damage per tile destroyed in the enemy's strongest color. Very strong, uh, so she's a 224 currently. And uh, we won't go through the roster on this video because it's already been long enough. So thank you guys so much for watching and bearing with me through that difficult crash of the Titans. I hope you found some strategies and insight on using the new Dazzler from the Shield event and uh, tips and tricks what to do, what not to do because uh, every mistake has a learning opportunity behind it. 
uh, from Crash of the Titans. If you complete Crash of the Titans, you get something cool, let me know down in the comments below if you had a different build or a different strategy with X-23. Uh, let me know as well, because it may be useful to somebody else. So by you mentioning it here, um, everybody that comes to this channel, sees this video, reads those comments, um, they may gain some insight from you as well. Don't forget to check out my Twitter, at MrMPQ. The link for that is down in the description box below. Uh, you can also find Ricochet17, uh, KillPower559 on Twitch. And for more YouTube Marvel Puzzle Quest, find Artem and John L. Media. I'll put the links for those channels in the description box below. And until next time, as always, this has been Mr. MPQ, your source in the Southwest. For all things Marvel Puzzle Quest, keep on questing, and I'll see you in the next video. Everybody have a great day.